hello. Hold on, let me figure this out. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this on my on my laptop too, so I can see comments easier. Hmm. Okay, weird. I'm seeing myself over here as well. So, okay, hello everybody. I'm so excited. This is just one of three boxes that we have to unbox. I don't know if I'm gonna be separating it into multiple different you know, lives, because this might be a, a long one, but we'll see. Hi, Tofu! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So I came prepared this time with an actual box cutter because last time it was really embarrassing when I tried to open this box and could not get it open for like five minutes. So if you see me over here, I'm just looking at the, the chat and everything. Okay, great. So yes, this is one and it's like, oops. It is one of three giant boxes. My poor little fairy just fell on the ground. But the others are here next to me. I have a couple of surprises in here that I don't want everybody to see yet. So I might have to like kind of hide some things if, if I come across that. But we will see. Hi. Let me see. So hi, Allie. Hi, Misha. Hi, Marnie. Hello, everybody. Hello from the UK. That's so awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is my second live that I've ever done. Excuse the mess behind me if you see anything. I'm like crafting like a mad woman recently, so it's a little crazy in my apothecary right now. But hi, Glitter Smurf. Let me see, did I did something break? So the box just knocked over my Witch's Moon Fairy, so that's very sad, but she's completely fine. Her wings just decided to fly off, but she'll survive. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, let's start unboxing this. This has been sitting in my in my apothecary for the past like couple or the past week or so, and I finally got the last two shipments in because it came like I said in three parts. Okay, let me turn this light on. Hold on a second. There, look, some nice backlight. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Hi, Nola. Hi. Okay, so, ah, look at it. This thing is so heavy when I had to put it on my boards that I have right here, my makeshift desk. It was like falling, falling over. I'm like scared it's gonna crack them in half, but. So lots of crystal babies in the shipment. I'm so excited. I wish there was here. I'm gonna do what we did last time and put it down somewhere. Don't mind the following sounds as I try to scoot everything out of the way. All right, okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm like surrounded in subscription boxes. So that is what I'm doing right now. That is my life at the moment, I love it. But I haven't even gotten to unbox like any of my subscription boxes from other people and it makes me sad but hopefully soon okay let's try to do this without breaking anything oh, okay there we go okay so first crystal baby this box is so huge i know it's so big Oh, Allie, this is one of three. Like I said, it was it was an investment. Um, I put in quite a bit into this month's or this second crystal order because I'm really excited to really broaden that part of my shop. All of these crystals are in my shop, so or they will be in my shop um, as soon as I get product pictures up. But but yes, um, they. I'm not going to say the exact cost, but it was it was a pretty penny. <laughs> But hopefully they are enjoyed. So let's see. All right. So I asked this last time. I think I have quite a few aura, quite a few aura crystals in this. But I think I did get some normal ones as well. I will be getting my next shipment. I want to do a 
I want to focus it on like a lot of raw specimens and different clusters and points and towers, different things like that. Um, but like that are actually raw crystals. So I'm going to be switching to that shortly. So hang in there if you don't like Aura. And let's see. I think there are a lot of cute things in here. So please let me know if you cannot like hear me over me ripping these things apart. Okay. So while I'm opening this, I just launched BumblebeeBotanica.com. I'm so excited. I was hustling like crazy to get it up and running because um, if you don't know already, I have my subscription boxes that I have launched and they're going to be the first main box is going to be opening or coming out in October. So I'm very excited about that. And it's actually looking pretty good, I think. Okay. So yeah, sorry if you didn't make it for the first one. Um, this happens to be a lot of like, a lot of packaging and a lot of ripping and tearing and cutting open things. So I'm sorry if you're not here to enjoy that. Let's see. All right, where am I gonna throw it today? I'm gonna throw it over there. <laughs> story of my life right now okay we got it open looks like China doesn't have a toilet paper shortage <laughs> like we do here what have you all thought about this craziness that's going on is it cooling down for you where you are <gasps> oh I can feel what this is are you ready look at this holy okay any day now It's a tortoise. Look at that. It's like an amethyst, an amethyst or a tortoise. So pretty. I'm so excited to have been, or finally be able to see these in person. So yeah, I love it too. So super cute. I honestly love the aura on amethyst, like drizzy kind of sparkly bits because it just makes it, just makes it so pretty. But he is beautiful, like look at him. Oh my gosh. I was so excited to get some tortoises in because I love, I really love the carvings that are, they can look kind of realistic to where they're animals that are actually small enough to be, you know, that, that small. So other than like, doll, you know, if it was like a dolphin, obviously a dolphin isn't like the size of a crystal. So it's not as cute to me for some reason, but that's what I focused on is getting kind of some animals and some different things that were actually kind of somewhat realistic looking while being a crystal still. So I know it's not cute. So I have a few of those. Let's see what else. I'm going to try to hurry because there's so much to get through. I figure this can be more of like a chat for us anyway. So kind of just chat, ask me your questions, let me know what's going on in your little neck of the woods. Or you used to hear that all the time growing up. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Anybody else remember that? Or is it just me? Okay, what is next? How loud is it when I'm unboxing or wrapping these? How the subscriptions coming along for you? They're coming along very well. They're, I'm pretty stressed out with just how much work I've created for myself, but in that, I hope that it is appreciated and well accepted. I think that they are turning out amazing and I'm so excited for everybody to see them. So, and then the October boxes are going to be very, very amazing as well. I've been starting to get some of my things in from those boxes, like my containers that things will be going in, and I'm so excited. So I cannot wait for everybody to see them. Anyone who subscribes, so we shall see. Oh, you see his little head? I know, I'm like so, so excited. I can't wait for you to get yours either. <laughs> I can't wait to see everybody's reaction. It's gonna be amazing. 
My husband is dancing outside the apothecary. A moss agate tortoise. Look at him. Oh, it even has like a little jersey bit under there. Oh, look. He's so cute. I love moss agate so much. And oh, this just has like the most beautiful energy and just the sweetest little little turtle so okay let me see Whew, let me see okay so yeah i'm very excited about what is going on it's very it's been very hectic and just trying to get everything out i should have my um should have the little the scholars box trial kits out on monday so I'm trying to make sure everything is in order and everything is working perfect and looking perfect before I send them off because I just want them to be want them to be good. So sorry it's taking a bit longer, but hopefully it's worth the wait. And then I will be kind of letting y'all know about the Zoom meeting that goes along with that as well once we get there. And that will be towards the end of the month. Okay. Sorry. So loud. Right. Oh, so what have you all been up to? Is it getting cooler where you are? Or is it still hot? Here in Texas, it is still like 100 degrees and 5,000% humidity every day. So that's been fun. Let's see. Yeah, let me know. I'm really curious to see because especially now that I'm going to be curating some subscription boxes, I want them to be very, very much, um, I want them to go with the energies of the year and just the cycles of nature. So that's really important to me. So I want to make sure just because it's like 100 degrees here, I know it's cooling down for a lot of people. A lot of my honey is out there. So curious how that's going to be going. I mean, lots of tea and warming things, hopefully. So here's our next baby. Let's see. Oh. So look at this little hedgehog. He's so cute. I'm going to turn my... Oops, not that way. Sorry. There we go. You can see him, he is so cute. I saw these little hedgehogs and I just fell in love with them. They're adorable. I wish you could see the aura too. Like, like I can here, but this is September launch, I'll subscribe for an awesome tofu. Yeah, it's gonna be like this, the September launch was just a trial month, so it's just gonna be like the, um, the grimoire pages and i will also have the those maybe available too for a purchase afterwards um but we will see it depends on how much time i have and how things go but i will definitely have the um the what am i trying to say the digital kit available if you want to print it out yourself and put it in your grimoire that way so there is that just so you don't mess up it is going to be a really beautiful month so I'm excited for it. There's so many ideas, so it's really hard to like not do all of them each month <laughs> and actually kind of tone it down a little bit. So here's an another one. These little hedgehogs are so cute. Oh my goodness. It's like this little, and I love the aura on the geode part, not the geode, but the, the little points. Adorable. So now we have our little, I wish you could see them better. Let me see. Maybe I can go like this. Little tortoises and hedgehogs here. Woo! Okay, what is next? So, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to cut this into a couple different lives. And we'll get through it, but we shall see. Oh, so fall. Okay, so I'm, now I'm seeing the 
chat. You're saying you live in New York, so fall is there for you. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. It is really hot. Okay, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to the fall weather. I'm enjoying the last bits of summer. I didn't get to enjoy it as much as I wanted to, but I'm, I'm still trying to just embrace the blossoms and the flowers that are still around. But, oh. Cute little moss agate point. So I did get some of these, um, or tower, sorry. I did get some of these that are not aura as well. So I think like half of these are aura, half of them are not. And these look like they are not. But well, look at that beautiful moss agate. Oh, it's so pretty. These towers are adorable too. It's really hard to tell when you are working with different suppliers and just pictures, you're not able to see things. It's hard to tell what, I don't know if I showed you that one yet, but hard to tell what is actually, like how big things are, how things actually look. I know Moss Agate's one of my favorites as well. I love them so much. Yes. So am I too dark? I think I'm okay, right? I turn my brightness way down, but we have some natural light coming in. Whew. So what else has everybody been up to? Are you getting ready for Samhain and starting to get your fall decor? I guess Madden first, right? So it's just, this month has blown by for me. And, and I definitely need to get a start on my my decorating, getting my altar set up and everything. I finally got it turned over after it was just sadly on this little dolly after the fire, but now she is ready to be decorated and I have a bunch of Ikea candles on it. So, oh good, the lighting is fine. Perfect, thank you, Brother Smith. Yay. Okay, let's see if we can hurry this up. Sorry if this is a little bit like redundant, if it's like the same kind of things, but like I said, I figured this can just be a little, a little chat where we, where we talk and we can communicate in a different way. I've been loving just being able to chat with everybody on Discord. That has just been the most amazing, amazing thing that has happened to my channel and being able to get to know people better over there and more personally than just in comments. <gasps> A sea turtle. Okay. What you're hearing, if you hear like things falling, it's just because I have a bunch of crystal chips that when I do my resin work and they're like falling onto the floor. So <laughs> this little moss agate sea turtle. Oh, so precious. I love when moss agate has like this, like the transparent, translucent bits in it. It is just so pretty. How sweet is how sweet is he? I love it. <sighs> Watching and working. Oh, hi, Robin. Yay. I don't know if this was a good time for everybody, but this is like the only time of the day that I can really both have natural light and then also be somewhat un uninterrupted because this is nap time in my house. So... <laughs> I put all the chickies down to bed and came to hang out with my honeys. I'm, I'm like absolutely loving these little animal sculptures. I think, I think I do have some that are not carvings, but like I said, there are quite a few carvings in this order. And then, um, hold on. Oh. And then next, the next shipment will have a lot of natural, natural crystal babies in it, which I also love. I got the crystals in for the October box and it's going to be, it's turning out to be so amazing. I'm very excited. If you don't know, it's ancestral magic. So we're going to be working with the veil being thin and communication with ancestors and just kind of honoring them, different ways you can honor them and maybe communicate, meditate with them. Does anyone have channels? That's a good question. Does anybody else on here have a YouTube channel? 
that we can check out. That is awesome. I'm always loving seeing. I know a couple, a few of my subscribers, like Katie and let's see who else are there. Are a few, a few of you that have some unboxings. Sunshine Daisy Mama. They are, um, they do unboxings on their channel as well. Okay, I can tell what this is. Oh my goodness. Ooh. So this is actually Moss Agate. I was really surprised because it has a lot of red in it. But you can see some translucency on the top. But cute little mushroom. This is like super heavy too. Very nice. I had to get these custom carved because I was really wanting some Moss Agate mushrooms. I absolutely love them. Um, the crystal jungle on Instagram has like really inspired me. She's the one that inspired me to get into aura crystals because before I just had, didn't have a thing for them at all. But after I've seen some of the things she had, I was like, wow, I'm pretty obsessed. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh, so we have another little hedgehog. Adorbs. Look at their like little noses. They're so cute. <laughs> Yes, so I know I have a couple more of these mushrooms as well, and I'm on the hunt for some more that are um, kind of have like some druzy, druzy bits on them because I think those are so cute. But let's see. Yeah, sometimes it's hard because some things go really fast with suppliers, and it's hard to get the good, the right, the perfect things that you're looking for. Whoa. Oh. Okay. I'm going to use these scissors from now on. That was way easier. Okay. We have some spears. I can feel. Ooh. Moss agate spear and aura spear. Oh, these are so, oh my goodness. It is going to be so amazing to meditate with. Um, when doing some meditations, I kind of found that, um, for working with the Fae, I found that some, some things are telling me that they like aura, like different aura crystals. So that's another thing that really kind of drew me into the aura, the aura side, but, oh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love when spheres have like the agate druzy bits so these are those are both um moss agate spheres and i really love 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 the inside of that like look how pretty oh, it's gonna be so hard to let these go because i'm obsessed and i love spheres so much too especially like i was trying to say to meditate with and um, just hold they're very very grounding when you use them in that way so I'm very excited. Yes, I love it too. Oh, so pretty. So I didn't even read what everybody said about. So did they? So I want to see if anyone wanted me to do some unboxings. That's awesome, glitter smurf. I cannot wait for you to start yours. Makes me really excited to see see other people out there doing this. And that's the reason I started doing unboxings in the first place is because. I really loved and was obsessed with watching them and then I decided you know what if I'm going to subscribe why not provide some joy for other people too because it's just you can never have too many unboxings really I really love it I also love like like watching um, Brandy over at Hound Dog Hollow and Ju June Mermaid, like some people who get a ton of boxes. Actually, on Discord, somebody was, I forget, I think it was Robin was saying that there is, who is it that has like every subscription, every witchy subscription out there? I still can't believe that. I haven't gotten to check her out yet, but that's insane. And I don't know how you can financially keep up with that, but props, <laughs> you can. Okay, so let's see what we have in this one. I'm gonna like be having to save all this paper, goodness. So 
So that's another thing I love about my boxes is Enchanted Moon. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to have to check her out, but hold on. Let's unbox this and then I'll talk more or unwrap this. Okay. I see what this is now. So beautiful. Aura, little sea turtle. Oh, she does her own boxes too? I didn't know that. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, that's actually like what I was gonna say is after really just enjoying everybody else's boxes and really getting a feel for what I like in boxes and what I wish I would I could see in boxes, I just thought it was it felt right to kind of create that, create what the, I thought was the ultimate box for for myself at least. I'm not gonna, I'm not saying it's gonna be the best box ever, but I'm just saying like it's everything that I would want in a box. So I'm really excited about that. Yes, I saw. I'd love to go. With. Yeah, that's that's really really cool. I cannot wait to see what she has then because I didn't know she did her own boxes. That's really cool pretty amazing like how vast our community is and I mean like I felt like I knew a lot of this it's like the unboxers but apparently I'm, I'm still living under a rock <laughs> yeah it's just amazing wow that's really cool yeah I think it's really cool when Brandy over at Hound Dog Hollow like she just she went crazy with boxes a couple months. Um, I know like during COVID, like when COVID was really taking off and she's a nurse. So she was like just picking up every time she, I think she said every time she has to work in like an extra shift, she was going to subscribe to another box and she sure did. Dang. So earned those babies. Ooh. Okay. So I've been really excited about this. A tourmalated quartz spear. I honestly might keep this for myself. Um, quite a while ago, when I actually, when I first started getting into crystals, before I was even, I even considered myself a witch. Um, when I was looking for crystals, I came across this, and I'm very attracted to tourmaline. Tourmaline is one of those crystals that really buzzes for me, and so I love anything that I can get tourmalated. Like for example. Like Garnierite, which I love getting the bits that have the tourmaline or the, you know, the inclusions in there. Because I just, it really, I feel those vibrations a lot. So, I had my own, I finally found a sphere that was like the perfect sphere for me. I was so excited about it. I held it every day. I sat with it. It was right after I had my daughter. So, I was like still healing and I was just I would sit there and hold my sphere and relax and I loved it and then it just disappeared one day it literally I kept it in the same place every single day and it just was gone the next day so I don't know if somebody if something happened to it or if it was broken or what but it's very sad oh another moss agate sphere there oh i love the depth in this piece like i love when the actual looks really mossy like that it's so pretty Ooh, i'm gonna have to start putting these places where they're not gonna roll oh my god i got so many spheres going gorgeous another witch's moon and broods i found that i have a bit too much supplies so I came out. yeah yeah, it does get overwhelming having a lot of boxes, for sure. Um, yeah, thank you, Toba. It's, it's gorgeous here. But yeah, like with all the boxes, that's one of the biggest reasons why I, when I first started out, like before I even started my channel, I really knew that I wanted to do giveaways from the beginning because one, I, I think that, I feel like the more abundance that flows into my life, like the more the more love I receive and the like just the amazing energy I receive from from all the honeys all my honeys out there um, the more I really just want to be able to give back and so that is kind of one thing that's kept me going is when I don't oh so this is flower agate a flower agate sphere if you didn't know so beautiful <clears throat> but yeah one of the things I knew that I was going to be doing is doing giveaways if it's something that I wasn't going to be using. Um, 
or at least using like all the time. So I kind of like love that about it. I definitely don't, I couldn't keep everything. <sighs> Another moss agate sphere, aura sphere. Do you like the aura or do you like the, um, the natural better? What do you think? I really like aura when it's on lighter surfaces, like, because when you get it on lighter surfaces, it doesn't look as, as um, rainbowy. It looks more like gentle in like the angel aura look. Whereas like if you get it on a darker piece, it looks more like oil slicky, which is still really pretty. Um, but I really, really like it on lighter pieces. Yeah. So, oof, there's still so many crystals in here. Holy mackerel. So I'm really scared these are going to come rolling off. So I'm going to put them over here. My preference is for natural. Yeah, that's, you definitely can't go wrong with natural. I think I definitely got attracted to Aura and I, I love it. But yeah, you really can't. Oh, I just cut into a bag. Okay, so that was a mistake. Okay, I did order. Okay, I can't even open this, but I did order some <laughs> crystal chips and I just totally cut into the bag that they are contained in. So that's wonderful. Oh my goodness, they're like falling all over. No. Sorry guys. Um, ooh. Okay, so we have some. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pull it out without. I'm gonna have to rebag it. That sucks. Okay, so some peridot. Peridot. I always say peridot, but I know it's, I think it's peridot. So some crystal chips that I will be using and putting in different things, whether that's um, my resin artwork or different things like that. I have a lot of plans for those. Husband's out there in the door again with a big ball. Okay, so, and then, ooh, some citrine crystal chips. Oh my gosh, now I'm gonna have like even more crystal chips all over my thing. But look at this, this is so pretty. I'm so excited to use these for what I have intended. I'm not gonna give away my surprises quite yet, but I think that's what this might be as well. So, Whew. what one with the cave? You mean the. Are you talking about the sphere that we opened earlier, Misha? <laughs> oh, your homestead. You know, homesteading makes me so happy and that is my husband and my dream. I actually have a really cool announcement. Um, I will tell you in just a second. So I can't remember exactly what I got. I'm trying to remember if this is aquamarine or Let's see some those let me know which one which one this is i oh you know what i think it's green fluorite now that i'm looking at it and then some tiger's eye sometimes it's hard to tell with like smaller bits what what exactly it is but cool i got a bunch of those yeah what i was going to say is homesteading is my husband and my ultimate goal for our family finding some land and just being able to completely provide for ourselves and be off grid. That is, that is our goal. And it has been since before we even decided to have kids. We knew we were going to, or we, we always knew we wanted kids, but we knew we were going to want to have some land and a farm for them to grow up on. Unfortunately, life happens and things don't always happen as quickly as we expected, but that's okay. 
So here we have some more points. Oh, yeah, like these are so pretty. Little, oh, it's like hard for you to see, but here we go. Little tower, moss agate towers that are aura. See where it's like, I like how it's really light, like the lighter ones that have that aura coating on them. So another one cute wow this is gonna take me a long time to list everything oh so i don't even know did i i don't even know if i ordered this maybe i did and i forgot but this is like a super dark fluorite tower look at i wish you could see through it as well as i can but that is really pretty you can see kind of see the rings there but i don't know there's very rarely do i come across some that are this pretty. That is beautiful. Like in that deep, deep color. Yes, I love them too. So gorgeous. So, yeah, so kind of very exciting announcement for, I guess it's just more of my personal life. You guys might not find it as exciting, but my husband and I happened to come across and Put a deposit down on a school bus and I think I have mentioned this in the past I don't can't remember if I mentioned it on discord or if I mentioned it on my channel but we have been wanting to get a school bus and actually convert it into a tiny home to travel with and um, we homeschool our kids so we really wanted to be able to actually go and travel the country and actually show them different history rather than just kind of showing, teaching them in a textbook. So we found our bus, we put a deposit on it. And it was kind of just the most perfect meant to be um, situation I could have ever dreamed of. But ooh, some flower agate. Look how, wow, how peachy this flower agate is. That's like really gorgeous. I love flower agate so much. That's another thing, thing with the crystals that I, um, that I really went for is I really wanted to only get things that were kind of more special or things that I just have a passion for myself. Wow. I love that. Look at the depth. Like you can totally see into this piece. That is so pretty. Oh, I love flower agate so much. That might be like my favorite piece so far. Yes, yeah, Nola, I have been, we've been talking about it for a couple of years now, and it finally was just the time, even though it's, there's so much going on, it just, ha it felt, the time felt right, so we decided to look into it, and I asked this old, old dog that I, I had been talking to before, um, about, to just ask him to keep him, his ear to the ground for an old Gillig school bus, because they're, near impossible to find there were only 40 um 40 buses of our model created and the state of california actually decommissioned them and made them illegal to drive because they would not die like they they wanted to cycle buses out but these buses the gillies and the crowns were just they kept running they were built so well and um so we really wanted one of those and we came across one it was just kind of meant to be the story behind it is amazing I'm not gonna blab on about it because it's probably not exciting to everybody else but you haven't seen flower agate before Marnie wow it is seriously one of my favorite stones probably moss agate and flower agate are very very just gorgeous look at these I got some flower agate stars so last time i got only moons and this time i got some stars and some moons so they are so cute and chunky too like i love love them and you can see they are have some nice clarity in them as well gosh just like the patterns on them are adorable so Ooh, and here are moons. So, moons are so pretty. Look. 
I wish you could see it. I'm gonna, I'll have to take the better pictures where you can see, but I just love when you can see into the moss agate. Oh, here's a nice chunky one. Love it. The best. So cute. Wow, look at that. So pretty. So pretty. Yeah, my supplier was really awesome. He actually let me hand pick these pieces out from the lot. So I actually am starting to ship to the UK and I have so far sent a couple of packages to Canada and then I think I sent one to Australia with success. So now I have a bit more confidence to do that and we are going to be shipping internationally. So I am very excited about that. Um, I also am going to be trying to keep shipping costs down as much as possible. So, because I know that's just the worst, having to pay for shipping. Like, pay so much for shipping to, um, for international. So, yes. And yes, they will be going, I'm actually switching from Etsy to my own, um, I just opened my bubblebeebotanica.com so I have my own site now which I'm very excited about and that is where you can find my subscription boxes um but in the subscription boxes also I kind of want to need to throw out there that I'm the cutoff will likely we'll see if I can push it back a little further I might I might push it back if I can't get the word out there as much as I wanted to because I've just been so crazy busy but um, the 20th is the last day to sign up for them. So if you go to Bumblebee Botanica, you can sign up for the subscription boxes there. And I will be putting all of these crystals on Bumblebee, BumblebeeBotanica.com as well. So, ooh, some more Aura Flower Agates. They're so pretty. They're even prettier in person. I really wish. Ooh, and there's just like some, so, like, look at those swirls. <gasps> so magical. Ooh, this piece has some, ooh, has some druzy bits and like some bits on there that are kind of like go through the whole piece. I love that. I love, love, love it. Thank you, Marnie. Yeah, I'm very excited about the international too, tofu. It's going to be really, really cool. And I know um, a few of my very close honeys have or they live internet in other countries so I really wanted that was important to me to do that and also with my boxes kind of being able to um, offer a couple of different things so not only am I going to be doing the boxes like the physical boxes but for international if the shipping happens to be too high for you or for anybody personally um, I'm going to be offering some digital things as well. So like I said, like the digital scholars box and some things like that. And then you would still have access to the Zoom meeting at the end of the month where we all craft together, but you would just have to print them out yourself and then maybe get your own ribbons and different things like that that we'd be using. But but it's still something, I think that'd be really cool. And then we can actually, we can talk rather than me just talking to you like I am right now. I wish we could do that where you can actually talk to me. Cause I feel a little crazy just talking, blabbing on about things to myself right now. Thank you. So yeah, here, oh, there's a moss agate. These tiny towers are actually pretty cute. They're really gonna be really good for crystal grids and um, things like that, which I'm still getting into and learning about, but beautiful. Let's see what this is we have. We're getting, I guess we're not like super towards the end of our box, but slightly to the end of our first box. We're getting there. So cute. I know, I'm just, I got a whole little desk full of, you can't even see it. I'm going to show you, but I don't want you to see everything because it's a mess over here, but so cute. Can you still see me? there okay it's good enough sorry someday I will have a better setup someday soon hopefully we can do this a little bit more professionally but okay so what are these oh okay so I did get some quartz points 
my daughter is at the door with a mask on. Go upstairs, baby. I like your hat. I love you. So these are really pretty. So this is just a bag full of quartz points. Ooh. So really pretty. My, my plan for these was to use them in resin pieces on different trays and things, um, and then actually kind of use them as ring holders or charging um, charging stations. Like if I do trays, and then that could be like a charging tray because I really enjoy that, especially for charming and um, charging jewelry. It's really nice to just be able to put that on, on your windowsill or something during the full moon. Sure, go ahead. Go play in the classroom. <laughs> she just turned five, so she definitely passed her napping stage. But yeah, it's still quiet time here. Just like my favorite time of the day, quiet time. So let's see, are y'all getting bored yet? So bad I'm just like going on about my life all these things I like seriously wish everybody can talk to me I guess that's what zoom is for isn't it Ooh, another flower agate sphere I love them so much they're so gorgeous and they have such like such a soft and nurturing energy as well Feminine, definitely a feminine energy. So there's another one. Beautiful. I okay, have one more in here. Oh yeah, go get a cup of tea. I actually meant to grab a cup of tea because recently, like, just going on talking so much, my throat has been getting dry. But. So oh, pretty, I love them. Oh, it's like just a rainbow of happiness. So I'm still loving that flower agate tower. That is just like nice and translucent. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to get these out there and then I cannot wait for everybody to see the crystals that I have in store for October, the October box it is going to be amazing I think everything is going to go really well together and come together it's going to be it's going to be a pretty cool thing to see okay so we have more spheres wow I didn't really realize that I had ordered this many spheres so we have another flower agate I love watching you gotta go to work for now Oh, thank you, Misha. That's supposed to be. Um, thank you for thank you for coming and joining us. I hope you enjoy your day at work. So I know I'm start. I was kind of thinking maybe this wasn't like the best time to do it, but like I said, I didn't have much choice. Look at this piece. This piece has a lot of like bits in there, like druzy bits and everything. Very cool. Yay. Okay. So, so what is everybody's favorite crystal? Because I'm going to be taking notes. Ooh, scary. Oh yeah, the Jersey Cave. Yeah, are you talking about this one? This one is so pretty. That's gonna be hard to let go of because that's a super, super beautiful piece. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have to let, I'll let everybody know when everything is up on the site. Hopefully I can get them up pretty quickly um, with everything going on. I'm going to try. I might have my husband help me because it's just been crazy. But yes, thank you for, thank you for joining us, Nisha. Let's see. So Tiger's Eye Amethyst and Rose Quartz. Classics. 
Love that. I definitely have some cool um, rose quartz things. Ooh, got some clear quartz crystal chips. Ooh, this is just such a satisfying, like, it's almost like a memory foam of crystal. That's really, really, really enjoyable. Ooh. Definitely quartz sphere with tourmaline inclusion, but that's, yeah. This is, yeah, this is seriously, the tourmaline quartz is one of the ones that really, really stick out to me as well. Just gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna be getting more of those and kind of trying to keep them in stock because, because it's gonna be hard for me to let it go. So I'm gonna just have to keep getting more in. Wow, you look like a, like a little huntress. Go show daddy. Okay, baby. Oh, hold on, baby. I'm on the. I'm. I'm have a video going right now. Okay. I love you. <gasps> okay. So these are really exciting. Moss agate black tourmaline. Good ones. Good ones. Moss agate citrine amethyst. Oh. That's awesome. Happy birthday, Marty. If it's actually your birthday today. A lot of birthdays this month that I'm finding out. Oh my goodness. So. Look at these, we're not gonna go through all of them, but I'm excited. Blue kyanite, that's a good one too. I got my first piece of blue kyanite in the Sacred Hollow Box by Meg this month. So I got some Labradorite hearts and look at them. These are, most of these are, um, have purple flashes, and then some of them have more like orangey color flashes. So, now look at them, they're freaking gorgeous. Oh, look at that flash right there. Beautiful. And oh my gosh, I love how some of them are smaller. So cute. Let's see if we can find a nice, ooh, purple one. So I don't know if you can see that. I can't even get it on, uh, can you see right there? That is like so pretty, like the super deep purpley blue. I'm trying to find like a really nice purple one. Ooh, this has a nice purple flash. It's hard to see. There you go, look at that. Now look, it's not amazing. I can't even believe that mother nature just creates these things, creates these beautiful things. It's so cool to me. This one has some blue flashes and some orange flashes. Oh, so pretty. Oh, you can see that blue flash right there. Dang. I'm sorry, I'm going through all of them. I said I wasn't going to, but it's just like too exciting. Let me see. Oh, it's so pretty though. And this one has a nice, nice purple flash. Can you see it? I don't know. But yeah, so I got a few of those. Yeah, the flashes on these are just gorgeous. Ooh, I wish you could see that. There's like, oh, maybe you can see it right there. Yeah, this one has a really pretty purple flash. This is one of the things that I've had my my eye out for are purple flash items. So I'm really excited about those. I was super, super excited that I was able to find them. So and just the energy, like it's just such a beautiful energy. Very grounding and exciting energy too. Awesome. A whole bag full of Labradorite hearts. So what else is in here? So I have a couple more big things. Let's see. Thank you all for joining me and just like hanging out 
hanging out in the apothecary. It's just really nice to get a, a break from the craziness. Been trying to go as much as possible. That's one of the reasons I haven't even unboxed. Like I said, unbox most of my boxes that I've been doing because, or boxes that I've got from other companies, just because I felt like guilty doing that when I had the scholars boxes to get out. But but I need a little bit of a break, so I'm glad I could do this with everybody. Let's see, some more of our moss agate points. Like little towers super cute do you like the moss agate that is more like white and green or do you like the ones that are more like this more like translucent and green this almost looks like this almost looks like a like flower agate and a moss agate together <laughs> pretty okay which one do you like better to see what you do with future resin projects yes i have been really really slacking on my resin videos i probably have noticed i haven't released them for a long time just because um i've been one i didn't i felt like everybody might be getting tired of seeing the you know the skulls like the custom me doing the custom skulls and then two i just have been so crazy busy <laughs> that I've been kind of focusing my efforts more towards that and there will be resin pieces and kind of specialty pieces in the boxes as well so I will be doing that in that sense um but I did get some new molds that are really cool and I have some video some footage and stuff that I need to get out there so I like them with some transitions I agree yeah hi Tammy thank you for joining us we're just here chatting. Oh, okay, so I got some, I got a few kind of packs of like a mixed, mixed tumbled stones that I can put in my different custom resin pieces and things because I really wanna start putting different crystals into those a little bit more. So um, that go along with the intentions that were chosen. So that's exciting. We're gonna be able to get to do that. I do with like all my customs. I put the like a clear quartz point in there. Just because clear quartz is so good for everything and magnifying properties. So, but yeah, I'm really excited to be able to put more focused stones in there. Okay, and then the clear quartz points that I do put in my speak of the devil. So I got more of my points that I will be putting, able to put into there. Look how pretty these are. These are actually like really cool looking. Actually looking at these makes me want to make some like jewelry or something with them. Where am I going to put you? There's so many things. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you, so glad you caught us live. Thank you for starting to watch and checking out my videos. It has been a crazy ride. Can y'all believe that like we started? I know some of some of you have been here from the beginning and I'm so grateful and we are constantly growing our little our little honey coven and I just can't believe that we started. I think October or this or I think November is when last November is when I put out my first video and it we've already come like so far it's amazing more than I could have ever imagined but got some smoky quartz points nice. those are beautiful as well I love these raw like just really raw and rough points so really nice that's awesome so, okay, we might have a couple more like little towers here. So what do you think? Should I, I have like five more things, five more little packages to unbox. Do you think we should keep going on the next box or kind of cut it short or cut it for the next one? Nice to find someone not so far away. I'm in New Mexico. Oh. Yeah, not too far away at all. 
we have we go through New Mexico when we drive to California because I'm originally from California. Um, so yeah, I've been through through New Mexico a couple of times. And oh, you say keep going, okay? Oh, here is this. Is this a piece of? I think this he might have put this in there here for me to check out. I can't remember if this is Caribbean calcite. I think that's what this might be. Honey, go upstairs. Look at these. Those are beautiful. And the color is getting washed out a little bit. My phone is also on like the night shift because I don't like blue light for my eyes. But wow. So pretty. Yeah, keep going. Really like a box of opening videos. There's so many with your story. I know. It's okay. I'll, I'll keep going. But yeah, like the, um, when I, before I started subscribing to so many boxes, um, it's, I, it was hard, definitely hard to choose. And I think I started with, yeah, I started with the Witch's Moon, the Witch's Roots box. And here we are today. <laughs> it's, it's been crazy. And to the point where it's honestly, I'm, I'm so blessed to have some people reach out to me and want me to unbox their boxes. And it's, it's so amazing. And I hope that I can help kind of shed some light on some of the amazing, amazing companies and people and small businesses that are starting out and really starting to put their energy out there because I absolutely love that. So some more moss agate. Yeah, it's, I mean, I don't, there's no way I could afford like all of them. There are, there are quite a few that I really want to check out, but at this point, I'm like, I honestly don't even know. I don't even have the time to unbox the ones I have right now. <laughs> and it would definitely be easier if I didn't, didn't kind of have to do a video with the unboxings, but I really like sharing that. And obviously that's become part of like one of the biggest parts of it. So sharing that with everyone. Maybe I'll do some unboxings. I'll start to do some unboxings that are just like an overview down like I did used to do in the beginning. The US Witchy Boxes are so much better than the UK. I know, Marnie, that's, that's been really hard. I know there are some, a couple really cool ones in Canada, but I have heard that from some people as well say, you know, like they just have not, like especially, um, um, what am I trying to say? Let's see. There is that. But yeah, some of them want like some in Norway, some in like just, yeah, in Europe, different places around the world that just don't have them at all. So that, that's really unfortunate. And that's, I mean, I'm trying to make sure that trying to see if what other options we have as far as shipping goes but like I mean I'm sure you know there's not much that can be done it's just it sucks because it's like sometimes the shipping is like as much as the box which is absolutely insane even to like from the U.S. to Canada you know sometimes the shipping will be like 20 to 40 dollars depending on how heavy the box is so <laughs> okay all right, good Robin. I'm glad. I'm glad my this afternoon has been an interesting one for me too. <laughs> it's really nice to chat with everybody. Ooh, some aura, aura points. I'm gonna like have to clear off my little table here soon. Golly, cute. I really am gonna be trying to put some of like the bigger some bigger crystals and different things into my boxes in the future because I love that's one of the bit like my favorite things is different boxes and then you actually have like a nice size specimen so what are we at right now are we at 64 minutes is that what that says let me see 64 minutes ago so what I might do, I don't know, is that really long to do a 64 minute, like over an hour thing? I might, I might like end this live and then go live again. Does that make sense? Should I do that? 
I'm not ex I'm not an experienced live person, so I mean, literally over for over a year. Lunarly. Yeah, Marnie is the shipping is just absolutely insane. I think I've been hearing about Lunarly. Is that the one where it has um it's like a monthly moon journal? Is that what that is? Or is Lunarly something different? So cute. Okay, yeah, I'll keep going for sure. So my, what I'm kind of thinking is this is our last little package from this box. I might end the live here and then restart it like right away so that you can come back and you can, um, you know, everybody can just start watching that one. So that way when I upload it, it's not like a three hour long video because holy, I can't believe it's already been... 60 minutes since we started doing that. So, yes, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay to have a longer video, is it? Like, how long is too long, Glitter Smurf? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I have seen some people do somewhat longer ones, but not like much over an hour, right? That's honestly crazy that I've been babbling for that long. So cute. I'm really excited to have so many different little specimens of like some of the same things because it's just adorable and I love them so much. But plants are candle, plants are candle crystals. Plants are candle crystals. What do you mean by that? I don't know what you mean. Did I miss something? Let's see, so I'm gonna fall over there. Oh shoot, I like bumped my tripod, I'm sorry. I know, it doesn't seem like an hour to me either. An hour and 35 miles. Okay. Okay, Misty. You're, maybe you're convincing me. Let's see, I, I have a smaller box here, so maybe I'll do this smaller kind of smaller box and then oh my gosh and then we will we will go after that no my fault candles plants and crystals okay oh okay so that's what's in lunarly i'm guessing so oops my my address is on here so let's see can we open it from the side That's really cool. Yeah, I think um, there are a couple like the ones that I, I actually really like. Witchcraft Way looked really cool. The Hag Swag box looked really cool. That's a Canadian one, I believe. And then um, some of the ones that are on like Etsy also look really cool to me. Or not Etsy, but Create Joy, where what is it called? I think Magical Folk looked really neat to me. And one of the things I really wanted to start doing on my channel is each month spotlighting a different like small business or company, like box company. And that's kind of different that I do as like a one-time subscription to see and just kind of spread some light on them. I think that would be really, really neat. But, but I've just been really crazy busy and we, 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 ugh, we have been doing that a bit, which is really cool. So good. It, oh, Y'all are gonna be blown away with this one. I think, I think. I kind of forgot about these just after I got talking, but I've been probably most excited to see some of these pieces in here. Definitely a bit more of a showstopper piece. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we got. So more crystal chips, I think. Nothing super exciting. So then you got some sodalite. There's some sodalite or lapis. I can't remember if I got both. Um, so there's that. 
And then some rose quartz chips. Awesome. I use a ton of rose quartz in my, my resin pieces, so that's awesome for me. Gosh, that was my zipper. All right, so I have some really good... Now I want to see what... She, yeah, can you see in here? <laughs> I'm going to tease us and go with the smaller pieces first because you all know it's my favorite thing to do. And then we'll see what is going on. Okay, so more... Oh, we got some... Some... What is the word I'm looking for? Labradorite chips. Very nice. Oh my goodness, I'm out of space. And then some amethyst. Beautiful. That's going to be really nice to be able to do some more, more pieces like that. All right. So. <laughs> I feel like it, after I open these, it's going to be hard to top that. I don't think there's any topping it. Yeah, lapis is a good one. Four hours. Wow. Do a lot of people watch them? Probably. If she has like a lot of subscribers. Do you see this? What? You want a bagel? Okay, go on. Stop knocking on my door, goofball. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So... Are you guys excited? All right, maybe we'll just do a big old live then. Big old live video. I don't do them that often, so. Okay. I just feel like, like when I see live videos like that, like I don't really feel like watching them because I, I don't know, I feel like there's just a lot of, I don't know, like how do you, what do you feel with four hours other than crystal unboxings? I can't even think of something that I would do that, that takes that long. Look at what does she do in her lives? Wow, a plant unboxing that goes two hours. I would love that because I actually used to have probably, I think between 800 and 1,000 different species of like rare tropical plants. Um, and I that was my business before I opened up Bumblebee Botanica and I sold, I used to sell like live tropical plants online and pretty obsessed with them. So a two hour plant unboxing would be pretty crazy. Sounds right up my alley. Oh my goodness. Holy big mama. Here, I'm gonna, before I stab myself in the face with this, some scissors. goodness it's still in the thingy okay can you believe how big this is i don't even know if this is like the biggest one i think it might be so when i saw these it was kind of one of those things that i was like is that a good idea to invest in these because these are going to be really hard to ship <laughs> but i figure i can just hold on to them until somebody really really comes across them and really, really wants them, so. Okay. Oh my, it's gonna be a, a long day of unraveling toilet paper. Let's see. Ready? Yes! Look at him. Oh, I can like barely hold it. It is <gasps> like it's, it's freaking huge, huge. Mossy or moss agate, I almost said mossy oak. Like, look at that. Yes, that is so exciting. Oh, I love that bit like right there. It's awesome. Holy. Yeah, okay. 
I love it. This is going to go on my altar until somebody takes it from me. So we have a few of those. That is like so exciting. What did you all think about that? Yeah, I am in love too. I absolutely love it. And we'll see. I think I think I have four all together. And then I think I did two that were natural and then two that may have an aura. It was really an experimental experimental order this time. Kind of get a better feel of jeez. My dog just slammed into my door. The feel of what people are interested in and kind of what I like more too. Sorry. So my goal for crystals. Get ready to work. Last me for days. <laughs> she answered. Wow, she does have a lot of questions asked then. Dang. Dang, that's pretty amazing. It's really cool though. I can't even imagine. Like I've been been trying to kind of do things organically, like as far as growing my channel and how this has been happening. And it's pretty amazing that we are at like I think we're at like 1,500 subscribers, and it just feels like it picks up faster and faster. So. I can't believe it, but it has made a lot of things possible as far as my inspiration goes. So that's really, really cool. She answers questions and people actually want to listen to her. That's really neat. Okay, I'm trying to get it so that you can see. Look, this one has more translucency as well. Oh, I love it. You're so pretty. Oh, I love that so much. Oh, oh, thank you. Don't listen to me babble on about my crazy life that, no, that means that means a lot to me that everybody would be willing to stick around for over an hour <laughs> to watch me unbox crystals like and the funny thing is too I my mom and I were talking about this the other day I think I might have even said something about it like a couple of videos ago but when I was younger I was so shy yeah I was so shy that I wouldn't even go, like in, I think middle school and maybe, yeah, middle school, I wouldn't even go up to like the lunch lady and tell her what I wanted for like order my own lunch. I would, that's how shy I was. Like I had to have my friend go and order my food for me in middle school. And now, you know, my mom is laughing at me because I have my own like YouTube channel and I'm putting myself out there <laughs> and just very very different than what I where I expected to be back then so oh, this one is so pretty I love these moons so much wow we have a lot of moss agate a ton of moss agate this shipment I love it it is a mossy mossy order love 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 it yeah, nice, and that one's like super nice and fat. If you're talking about the tower, are you talking about the moon, Nola? But yeah, these are so pretty. Do you like the moons or the stars better? I was assuming that everybody would really like the moons, but I figured I'd throw in a couple of stars eventually. Okay, enjoy putting your baby to bed. Cute. If I could. I would give anything to keep my little ones the age they are now. Like, if I had to change diapers my entire life, my my youngest just is just became became potty trained, or just got potty trained 
pretty much potty trained herself, but um, if I could, you know, I would change diapers my whole life if I could keep them at this age. I just, I love it so much. Cute. I know, Nola, you're gonna have to get a little star over here. I love, I love the stars and the moons together. They're actually really, really cute. And these moons are really high quality. Last time, like, I picked out the best ones, but he got this, another shipment in where they were really high quality again. So definitely had to pick more out. I think those were probably, like, the favorite of all the crystals I got last time. You didn't see the stars, Tammy? So actually, there might, let's see if there's some in this one. If there aren't, then I will show you a couple of the stars. I always feel like that's super loud. Ooh, look at my, my boobies are showing. Sorry about that. So let's see. There are some stars in here. I know, look at this collection of goodies over here. I can't wait to like take some beautiful product photos of them. Put my legs down, so just in case it falls. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we have more moons. Ooh, that has like a nice pretty piece in it. Pretty little bit. Ooh, I like these like really fat moons too. Like nice chunky ones. All right, now to the stars, Cammy. Look at these. Oh, they're so pretty. Cool, this piece has like a little druzy bit in it too. And this, like, look at that. Like that lighter. It's almost like it looks like a lichen. Totally looks like lichen in there, like that old man's beard type lichen that you see on trees and stuff. That is so pretty. And I love like the pieces that have like these druzies in it too. Is that how you say it? Druzzy? Druzzy or druzzy? I feel like there's so many words like that that I just have always said my own way. Yeah, the lighter star is so pretty. Love it. Ooh, here's another really pretty light one. Look at them. Gorgeous. Have so many pictures to take. Ah! Uh, one more star. And there, that nice like gradient from the light to the dark there. So pretty. It's so cool how things, um, mineralized in that way where it totally looks like moss was trapped in them yeah the stars are really cute so yeah i think i love the moons okay so a lot of people like the moons looks like some people a lot of people like the stars as well they're really i think they're all cute aren't they we just keep them all if i kept all of them that would be a big problem <laughs> Then I would really be considered a hoarder by my husband because he doesn't understand sometimes. He still lets me do it, but understand why I need to keep every single glass jar that comes through our house or why I want to collect things for the, the junk journaling for the scholars journals. So, and that's enough. Okay, so if you're, if you're part of the scholars group, Collect, if you go have like junk mail or even just mail and then you have the envelopes with the little windows, like the clear windows on them, keep those because we might be doing something cool with them in the future. You don't have to keep, keep a ton of them, but you know, keep a couple cool ones if you come across them. So more moons. Wow, I got a bunch of moons and stars as well. When I ordered this shipment, I actually ordered it to save a little bit of money. I had to do it through um, where it was. It shipped by sea, so it actually shipped on like a, a freighter. And so it took, I think, I think it's like 40 to 60 days before it got, gets to me. So I'm like having to remember as we go, the things that I have ordered. It's been really hard waiting. <laughs> 
For sure. Ooh. Some really pretty ones. I have like a pile of moons and stars now. Like little mini mountain. Okay, make sure I don't throw any. So, ooh, there's a really pretty one too. Oh, it's hard to see. So there are those. Cute. <laughs> crystals, does somebody say crystals? Yes. Gotcha, crystals here. So after this one, we have one more of the big towers in there. And then I have one more box. I'm trying to remember what is in there. But like I said, it's kind of hard to remember. Hopefully it's exciting. But yeah. Yeah, the gradient was really pretty on that one. I agree. Shoot, loving me. So. Yes. Yeah, the moon and stars are like really, really pretty. That, those are some of my favorites. They went, I couldn't believe how fast they went on my on my Etsy last time. So I figured I had to get some more. So I want to keep one for myself too. But yeah, I know. All crystals are exciting to me too. And actually, I went quite a while without buying any crystals and kind of just enjoying the ones I had. For a long time, I really just enjoyed mostly like clear quartz especially like points and different raw um, clusters and things like that so it's really exciting to get into crystals again and really enjoy their energies because because you can never have too many crystals okay let's see what this one is Okay, so we have one of our aura. Whoa. Yeah, never too many crystals. So like look at this drizzy side. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Marcy, that's so funny. Has anybody else like always wanted to just have something, everybody like bust out in a song like in Greece? How epic would that be? Like you're at the bowling alley. Yeah, I know. Okay, isn't that gorgeous, Glitter Smurf? Love it. Like the aura, the aura and then like that drizzy type bits. And they're not even like normal drizzy looking either. It's almost like a velvety type look. <laughs> so we have one more and then we're gonna be on to our final box should have grabbed some tea because my throat's getting sore from talking so much to myself i don't know if it's just because it's been getting drier since the winter is coming but probably definitely not that because every time you go outside it's like like i said like five thousand percent humidity it's ridiculous okay oh i'm we i'm gonna be selling them on my site marcy it's i definitely as much as i want to keep all of these i cannot but yes i will be selling them I wouldn't mind if some of them didn't sell, <laughs> I'll say that, but I will be putting them up. I think I'm, I'll probably end up putting everything up for sale, and then if something doesn't sell, then I will know it is meant to be, meant to stay with me. Wow. This is like, this is so pretty, just that white bit, and I wish you could see it, just the aura on it is so pretty. There are a lot of bits on this one as well that have like the druzy. It's so funny how it's not focusing. 
annoying. But yes, so gorgeous giant towers. I will probably put those up here at the very end so everybody can see if you want to see like a second view of them. But this one is definitely our biggest like look and I wish you could feel this. It's amazing. So yeah, I was telling my supplier, I'm like, can I just come work with you at the crystal factory? Like we can, or I can just like play with crystals all, all day long. Okay, I have to go over and get this. If I can reach it. Oh gosh. All right, here we go. This is so interesting. Okay. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking, Marnie, too. Like when you have the ones that are really lighter, it's just that aura. It's a lot softer and more of like the angel aura look rather than the very, I think is it called like titanium? I don't know, people say like titanium coated or whatever, where it's a lot darker and more like oil slit looking. I know I shouldn't be cutting towards myself, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And nice big boxes for sure. Like I said, I got three big boxes. I'm dying to open them. It has been like, it's been very hard to not dive into these when I could with them. Okay. Oh, I think I opened this one upside down. Oh. So it looks like he gave me a couple of little stands, like little spear stands. I don't think I ordered these. I don't feel like I did. Those are like actually really cute though. So you can put your little spears on them. That's perfect. I'm going to do that right now so they don't roll all over the place. Cute. Super cute. Look at that. Oh, Sweet. It's so sweet. Cool. That's another thing I've been wanting to get, especially as I get more spheres, I'm wanting to get like some nice stands. I've been kind of thinking about making my own with my resin. Um, making some like really cool, like botanical or like floral kind of sphere stands. But I'm not sure, like sometimes I just like the really natural wood under a crystal. I don't want to take away from, from the beauty of it. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you so much. So, yeah, I really, I really, really appreciate all the love that I have received from everybody. And just, even especially on the Discord where I get to talk to everybody, there's just so much inspiration. We were constantly seeing, like, all the different <clears throat> the crafting that people are doing and the decorating especially now that Samhain is coming up and just everybody's getting into the the season of the witch and really enjoying it so a resin stand would be lovely oh hi michelle yay sorry if i didn't see you pop in earlier if you were if you had said something happy you're here Okay, maybe I will do a, a resin stand. I'll, it'll be it'll be cool. I want to make it really really pretty. So another one of our wow, this is like a really dark one. So moss agate mushroom. So these when I got these um, carved and like I said, it the other one I showed you, it's very like it almost has, it has some like red in it and everything. So it's really interesting. So have a nice aura coated one. How am I gonna set these down? Oh my goodness. Okay. 
pants. I know I love them. I love them. I love, I think mushrooms would be so cute to just have like a bunch of little crystal mushrooms on your fae altar. Like, wouldn't that be adorable? A little fairy altar with all these little carved animals. So here's another one that is not aura coated. That's really pretty and I love how like fat it is. I love it. Okay. I'm seriously running out of room. I'm scared if something falls, it'll fall onto my floor. I'm gonna put this box down. Woo! Like, wish I can go grab some tea. What is your favorite tea? What is your favorite thing to do during this time of the year? Like when things start to kind of get darker and or the sun, you know, the sun starts um, setting earlier and the nights are longer and the veil is thinner. What is your favorite way to celebrate that? I'm curious to know because like I said next month my theme for my boxes is ancestral connection and I'm really excited about that because I really really this is my favorite time to really connect to my lost loved ones like my grandmother and my pops and for Samhain I usually um we usually visit places that remind us of them so for my grandmother we visit the duck pond because that's something I used to go do all the time with her she would buy like 12 loaves of bread and we would go chop it up and we would go feed the ducks I mean now that I'm sorry I totally shook you now that I'm older I know or now that I've done more research on duck feeding <laughs> I know that that's not the healthiest thing to feed them but she she would do it out of you know she wanted to care for them she was a buddhist so we would go feed the ducks so every Samhain we go to the duck pond and leave a bouquet of flowers and then my pops worked on the railroad for i mean since he was like 17 and when he passed away he was 60 so pretty much 40 40 or so years and and then yeah so we leave some flowers on the railroad for him and yeah more well, from my side sorry Start squirreling away my oils and tinctures. That's really cool. <clears throat> Your favorite tea is lavender and ruby. I had a hard time saying that word last time too. Ro ro robios. Robios? Rubios? <sighs> Another one. Another one that I have a hard time saying. Beautiful. Ooh, I like this bit right there. That's like kind of rough. Pretty. Yes, I hope I can get some that are, have like the lighter bits on them next time. So I definitely love the lightness, the light bits. The same stands I use, love them. Yeah, I do love those little wooden stands. They're really cute. I'll have to get some larger ones too for some of the bigger spheres. So, love that. Yeah, that's something. We've been doing that for a few years now, Michelle, and we just really love it. Ooh, so we have a little moss agate aura tortoise. It's so cute. I love their little legs. I don't know if you all know this, but I have a sulcata tortoise, and he is, he has gotten so big since we've moved to Texas, and he's like out, able to be out and just roam the yard. He's probably like like this big now like that big now and he's like this big sulcata tortoise and he just tromps around and eats grass all day and I just love their legs their legs are like little elephant legs rooibos 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 okay thank you thank you misty oh my god first love the turtle after Matt, when we start to decorate our ancestors' altar and prepare for San Salon activities. That's awesome. Oh, that's really cool that you and your partner both celebrate as well. 
I love that. I love that's something like I have been we have made it into a, a big tradition. So instead of um like we still celebrate Halloween and Christmas and those different holidays, but we also we, I think I connect those with um the more traditional things that happen and then the actual pagan the sabbats i we really try to connect them with tradition and building that tradition and the those um meaningful things that we do with our family just because i think that so many things have become so distorted and diluted as far as what they're really about like Christmas now is just like all about presents. That's all kids care about. Whereas I feel like it's a lot more, it should be a lot more about family. And I mean like who doesn't like presents obviously, but we're really trying to push that with the girls. Sorry, I keep hitting my cord. Okay. So that's, that's beautiful tofu. I love that. I know. Yeah, Michelle, I love Moss Agate. Obviously, as you can see on this desk of Moss Agate. So here is another mushroom. That's a really pretty one. Ooh. Cool. So yeah, I really like the, like the chunkiness of these. They're really cute. I've been loving these mushrooms. So that's really cool. It's been really um, getting dark and like in the evenings here, like right now I can tell there's a storm coming because it's been getting really super dark and then it will start raining and thundering for a while and then it's gone. But it's been a really nice little treat, especially for all my plants, my, my garden. So there is a cute one as well. Nice little aura coated one. <laughs> I know the mushrooms are so cute there's something about mushrooms that's just like so whimsical and totally just reminds me of like it makes me want to just put them on my fey altar because they're just so cute or even like a fey like a little fairy garden time of year. I'm going to move that so I don't keep bashing the cord. Okay. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do during this time also is make, I call it spiced apple cider or I call it witch's brew, but it's spiced apple cider. And I put, um, some like good, like good quality, just raw maple, or maple um, apple cider especially if you could find like honey crisp apple cider, it's so good. And then you put it in a pot and you boil it and then you can put in um, some whiskey or whatever, if you can even leave that part out if you don't enjoy that or if you are gonna be giving it to kids. And then I put a slice of apples, um, which way would that be? So that the seat, the core shows. So not like how you would normally slice an apple to eat it, but <clears throat> like, that way. Do you know what I'm talking about? And then you put it in there and they look so pretty. And then you put some cinnamon sticks in there. And then after it cools down a little bit, I like to add some honey and then it is just so delicious. And it's the biggest hit at all the party or all the little get togethers I go to. So speaking of fairy altar, horizontally thank you glitter smurf yeah being an artist do you think I'd be able to like think of that I was trying to think of like um anatomy like anatomical type words where it's not like lateral and it's not but yeah I guess I could have just said horizontal look how cute is this snail I know I love this snail so much and I oh they're just so cute 
Like, look at that. Oh, adorable. I love him so much. He even has a cute little mouth. So cute. Yeah, I've been like dying to get my hands on one of those ever since I saw them. That's one of those things that I really wanted. They're so, so cute. <clears throat> I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought so. Hopefully I can keep one of those for myself and will definitely be going on my little fairy altar with a mushroom. My daughter, actually, she's really excited because <clears throat> she's been wanting to kind of get into witchcraft a little bit more again. Oh, there's another one. <sighs> Maybe I will keep one. Yes. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love, love, love tourmalated quartz. Where can I put you? I'm going to put you right there. Don't fall. Yeah, I just am obsessed. Oh, and there's another one. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, what I was saying is, <laughs> is that my daughter has been really wanting to help me when I've been crafting and everything. So she loves do making jewelry. My daughter is four or five, by the way. But so she... Um, I have let her create some Malin meditation necklaces and what I might have her do from now on is create some necklaces or some jewelry, some bracelets for our monthly theme and then offer those in my shop and then she's like really, really excited about selling something that she created. So really happy for her. I made, she made some really pretty little self-love necklaces that I need to put up in the shop. Ooh, we got some rainbow moonstone pieces, a bunch of it too. Awesome. You can see some like nice blue flashes in there too. Pretty. So glad I got a good good amount of that. But well, it's a ton of crystals. Yes. Yes it is, Hannah. Yes it is. You can't even see most of them or some of them here. I'm gonna show you another little here, I'm going to put these here. Hannah, are you just joining us? I think this is probably the first time I've seen. Look at this, Hannah. It's crazy. <laughs> so we have four of those. I know, isn't that so cute? Yeah, look at, look at our collection so far. Lots of goodies. Let's go to... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that so you can see a little bit better. Just just ignore the mess that's in the background. Hi again, Margie. Or hi, Margie. Let's see. Yay. <laughs> yeah, Hannah, it's been an adventure unboxing these. Have three big honkin' boxes. Glad you can hopefully get some some you time. Everybody make a cup of tea for me. I'm definitely gonna go make one after this. Actually, I been kind of wanting to just make try try out some of the teas and the different things that come in the boxes that I get. Can you see me? You can still kind of see me. But I might start doing that in my videos where I can actually drink a cup of tea while I unbox because that'll be nice. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, I forgot I got these too. I got little baby rose quartz mushrooms. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll use my new teapot, Hannah. That's such a good idea from my Luna box. Well, cute. You can't even see it. This one is aura coated. I can't. I don't think I got all of them aura coated, but this is so pretty. I love aura uh, aura quartz or not aura quartz rose quartz when it is aura coated. It's beautiful. Hi, you want to come say hi to everybody? <laughs> My husband's gonna make an appearance for the first time. I good luck getting through. <laughs> Can I just die? 
drive over? No, please don't. I have a lot of stuff over here. <laughs> Little mushrooms. No. Oh. Yeah, he's tromping through the pile of packaging. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, it's so cute. The wee mushrooms, I know. All right, good luck here. Step I'm on, trying. Step on over. <laughs> Almost there. Okay. We there. can't even see you. Hello. This is my husband. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Oh, raising. I didn't even show you. He distracted me. That's a one. What is that? What? Some mushroom. Does oh. it look like a penis to you? It does. <laughs> Very weird and oddly shaped one, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are all your rocks? I have crystals. Minerals. Look at this, baby. Yeah, impressive, I know. <laughs> We're really excited about it. <laughs> I think you need to order more. Yeah. I know I loved you. <laughs> Cute. That was my husband's first appearance, I think. Oh, everybody's saying hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I know, the cute little babies. Oh, I just saw your message, Tofu. It's 10.30 there. What? How much are you gonna get? I'm trying to hurry. There's, I don't have much more. It's, I'm almost done. Mm. <laughs> Let me go back to work. Thank you, Margie. Okay, love you. I'll be out soon. Oh yeah. Oh, you're drinking your, you're making your last cup of tea while listening. That's awesome. Good, yes. Drink a cup for me. I'm excited. I actually like never dive into my teas as much as I would like to in my boxes, but I'm really excited now that I have um, that new little teapot and I can make it a little bit more intentional. There's something about just being like very, doing things the old fashioned way and doing things the, the longer way. Hold on. Yeah, taking your time to do things with intention really makes the, makes it a lot more magical in my, in my mind. I really enjoy that. Like something about, like I guess I have an electric kettle and it's not as fun to make a cup of tea with an electric kettle but, or like a Keurig. So one of these months we're going to have a really good tea month because my aunt and my uncle are actually, they own a Taiwanese tea business and they are providing us with some extra special tea for the for the boxes and yeah i'm really excited about it so i know what this is from the shape of it can you guess can you guess what this is what is it Ooh, that is an amazing tofu Mm. Yep, you got it, Hannah. Oh my goodness, it's like even cooler in person. Wow, flower agate skull. Look at her. I feel like it's a her because it's flower agate, but wow. I love how you can see through her eye, like where her brain would be. That is so cool. Amazing. So I actually got these from my supplier. Where did that comment go? I missed, I lost it. La, la, la. I 
get this. Wow, witchcraft is against the law in Maryland. That is very traditional, I guess you could say. <laughs> so mystery kitty, that's, there you are. Um, I did get these from my supplier in a supplier in China. So, so yes, I will be selling them on my shop. But that is, that is crazy that it's illegal. Is that like enforced? I mean, I guess you probably just don't really go broadcasting that you're practicing witchcraft, but, or is it becoming more, is it just one of those things that is said to be against the law, but people don't really enforce it. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's too Catholic there. That's really interesting. There's some places that are just very, very, um, still like that, I guess, because now it's becoming so normalized, especially with like the movement of witchcraft and it's cut it for a while. I guess, I don't know, maybe it still is, but it's almost like trendy to be a witch and so it became a lot more accepted, which is really cool in some ways. Well, it's really cool, but then sometimes it's just hard to weed out the people who are just, you know, calling themselves a witch because they think it's cool. And then people who are actually really passionate about the craft. But either way, I think it's, it's great that people are opening their eyes. It's not in forest, okay. So Ashalina, um, the boxes are actually now up for sale. Um, if you ordered, I don't know if you ordered a scholar's box, um, but, or the scholar's trial box for September, but those should be shipping out on Monday. Hopefully I'm really crossing my fingers. It's kind of my deadline and my, my goal to get things out by the 14th. Um, so those should be out by then. And then the, the other boxes, October boxes are actually available on my site, bumblebeebotanica.com. I'm so proud of it and excited about it now. Um, but yeah, those are now available on there. I will post a link down below too, if you want to go check that out. But like I said, bumblebeebotanica.com. I can't believe I got it up and running and those are ready to go. So I will be crafting those and sending them out hopefully sometime early. Well, they will be going out early October. How do I order? Okay, so Ashley, like, they're not going to be on my Etsy because I'm actually starting to get away from Etsy. A lot of the things besides maybe my digital stuff is going to be, my digital stuff will stay on Etsy, but then I'm going to be moving most of my things to my site. That way I can actually do subscriptions because on Etsy you can't really do like reoccurring subscriptions. You can only do the pay where you pay up three months ahead of time or something. So that's why I'm moving. I move my shop to, to my own online site. Another little tortoise. They're so cute. Adorable. I love these little sculptures so much. Little carvings. No problem. Let's see, oh shoot, I missed Hannah's. Okay, I'll make it. <laughs> I know we go on. I'm going to movie theater with me. Oh yeah, I know. There's some like, if you look into laws in your <clears throat> in your state, sometimes you'll find like the weirdest, <clears throat> the weirdest things. Like, I know, like in I think it was in Montana when we lived in Montana, it was it was illegal for you to open your husband's mail, but then not illegal for him to open your mail. Like you couldn't, you're not allowed to open your husband's mail still, and then. Yeah, there's, there are a bunch of like really weird, weird, weird laws that have just stuck around <laughs> over the generations. 
They are a bit outdated. We have two trains meet at it, so they both have to wait for the other to go. <laughs> that is that's pretty ridiculous. So it's like playing chicken, but with trains. We have plenty of trains here, so that would be a lot of waiting. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm glad things are really starting to become normalized and people are, are accepting witchcraft a little bit more. And I think that also, like, by normalizing it to some extent, like, for example, my, my neighbors are very, very, are very Christian and, um, and I don't think they... I haven't like come out and told them that I'm a witch. I don't know if they really know, but it's just it's just interesting like how how to see if people will accept that more. You know, and for a while I had like pentagrams on my window, especially during Halloween. Like I do it up like crazy and I kind of keep my Halloween decor, my Samhain decor up for like a long time <laughs> just to embrace it. But ooh so it's just kind of funny to see the looks, the looks that I get. So another moss agate tortoise, cute. A lot of women to wear pants in France. Yeah, where everybody like they're supposed to wear skirts. Women are supposed to only wear skirts or dresses. That's interesting. Oh, hey, KP. Yeah, there are so many crystals, girl. I'll show you the, the big honking ones here in a second. And miss the big babies. So, yeah, that's that's really funny. And it just seems like, like, why wouldn't you get rid of the laws? But I guess that there's just so much that goes into that that it's like nobody enforces them anyway. So they just kind of stick around. It's really funny. Oh, good. Let me know, everybody who is here, let me know if you do check out the site, if there's anything like anything buggy or anything that looks wrong with it, just let me know because I am still, y'all are like my tester, my testers. You're, you're going to be the first ones to see it. So I need to know if it, if there's anything wrong with it. I'm pretty sure it's, it looks it looks good to go but you never know there's always little things that slip through the cracks so yeah i'm glad you i'm glad you caught some too kp that's awesome it's been a long one how long have we been on here for 123 minutes so just over two hours <laughs> we've been unboxing crystals this is gonna be a fun one to upload for sure thank goodness i don't have to um I don't have to edit it because that would be a nightmare. <laughs> oh man. I'm very excited. I can't wait to take product pictures of all these. All these pretty crystal babies. Okay, so KP here. A lot of love actually enforced. It's crazy ridiculous. Can't, yeah. Thank you, Tofu. So uh, KP, check this out giant moss agate tower love it we have more of them too we have four of these one there are two that are these aura and then two that are just the normal so i'm excited about those i feel like i have to show them off every time somebody else comes because they can't miss them you can't miss those they're like the stars of the show Oh, somebody posted something that was wrong, Nola. I will have to check that then. Thank you. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. It's definitely been a learning process and I've gotten it up pretty dang quick. So hopefully I didn't goof it up too bad. Okay, yeah, but for the digital kit. So I did mention that in Discord. Um, the digital, I still have to get that all together because I'm in the process of printing everything right now. 
So I have to make it so that it the all my digital files work for my Cricut that cuts things out. But um, so once I am done with um, once I am done getting all that, I'm gonna make it so all my digital files work best for everybody else to actually print out on a full page of paper. So you can like fussy cut them just in case you don't have a Cricut. And that way you don't waste so you don't waste paper. Yeah, so cool. Okay, I'm glad it was that because I, I did already know about that one. That makes me feel better. My biggest concern is about any of the, the links or like shipping or how it's going to, since I haven't gotten an order on there yet, I'm a little bit curious how the shipping and order fulfillment process goes on there versus on Etsy because Etsy really makes it organized for me and easy to manage orders. So I'm a little bit nervous that I'm going to be overwhelmed, but I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we will make it work. Oh, my, my middle daughter is awake now. Let's see. <gasps> Thank you, Hannah. I must've like missed the notification because I'm on here. Yay, that makes me so excited. I think you're going to love it, especially since you're also into like hedge, hedge witchcraft and communication, different things like that. It's definitely going to be a month for that in October in a more positive light. So, oh geez, I have so much packaging. Another tortoise, look at this amethyst, amethyst tortoise is so pretty. Cute. So I think we, we have like three more pieces in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so much. I'm so excited. I got the, the honey box. Yay. <laughs> I know the honey. Okay. So yeah, isn't that cute, Misty? Okay. So yeah, the honey box is, it's a bit more expensive, but it is like, it has everything in it. Like if you go and look at all of the items, um, that I will be including in there. And then there are some, some special little, there's a special part about my boxes that I haven't even revealed yet that I'm not going to reveal. And it's been so hard, but it's going to be a surprise. And I think it's, it's going to add like some, some really cool, a really cool aspect to the boxes. So I hope it's, it ends up being worth it to you and it is going to be packed with really cool stuff. So I know KP, there are like so many, I'm going to have to take a picture after I'm done of like everything and we'll use it as the, like the thumbnail for this video, but holy mackerel, there's so many things here. So much like moss, um, moss agate and flower flower agate so I love that so if you do the honey and not separate yeah yeah it's definitely a better better price to get the honey boxes as, as opposed to like getting two of the other boxes and that's what I really wanted to do to save on save everybody on shipping too because I mean I get some companies I get like two or three boxes for them from them and then you have to pay for shipping separately which is really annoying because I'm like super cheap when it comes to shipping so I figured that would be really cool and it will include kind of like you know everything together sorry I have a lot of stuff to open my husband's getting mad at me because because this is taking forever <laughs> But yeah, so super, super excited about what is in store. Ooh. Oh, Fallon went to Miss Yes. I know it's so funny, like seeing all the different names. Like I really try to keep to make sure I know everybody's name on every every platform, but it is like hard to to keep up sometimes. And then I'm also scared, like, if I think it's somebody, I want it, like, you know, 
I think, I think you're somebody, but then I say your name and then I'm wrong, then I'll feel really bad, so. So I'm not calling you by your Discord name. I apologize. I figure it's just easier to go by, to go by your name on there. <laughs> All right, so I think there are two more items after this. Let's see. So uh, there is one thing that I know I was waiting to kind of find in here that we haven't come across yet. Oh yeah, the Alchemist box is gonna be really cool. Definitely gonna be like a beefed up herbal, herbal type box, so. I'm really excited about that. That one is definitely right up my alley. The Scholar's Box is also like so amazing. It's taking me a lot longer to craft than I thought because I'm doing everything by hand. Everything is handmade by me and, you know, cut out and everything. So it's been taking a long time, but it's going to be really cool. I'll probably, I'll have to find, ooh. So, oh my goodness, we have so much like balance. Like look at this and then our flower court skull right next to him. Oh, love it. Oh my goodness, I have no room. So. Oh my gosh, $60 shipping. That is absolutely ridiculous. Ah. Uh, that's sad. Yeah, well that's like the kind of the nice thing about what I was doing with just the kits. And I might make that a thing too where I offer like just the, um, just like the actual journaling kit that would include all the other stuff. But I know, I don't know, I know all the other things that come with it are also like a big part of it, but we'll see. I'll try to figure out the best way to do that. So here's what I was kind of looking for. This is a Garnerite sphere. And ooh, it has like some tourmalated bits like I was talking about. It is so pretty. This is one of my favorite stones and I don't have a sphere yet. So this is like really, really exciting. Wow. So many things. <gasps> Thank you, Glitter Smurf. Oh, I'm like so excited. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh my goodness, look, we have another one of these babies and it's like the biggest one beautiful we'll see maybe i'll have to keep it haha -ha. i'm like dying to get these because i love them so much and their energy is so pretty oh i can't put that there <gasps> i'm out of space okay one more let's see hopefully it's like a good one Yeah, I know. It's like very, 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 very earthy. And then some like pops of like pinks and everything. It's pretty cool. Okay, this one's like very well wrapped. Yay. So yeah, thank you Glitter Smurf. I'm Glitter Smurf. I'm really excited. Very excited to start crafting those boxes. I also felt bad even putting them up for sale after I haven't even gotten the scholars box out, boxes out this month yet, but I hope you all can understand a little bit why things are taking a little bit long and hang in there with me. This was definitely a trial month, so there's been a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of trial and error that has gone along with creating and just putting everything together, how long things are taking, what I what I have to kind of maybe um, buy next time instead of making. So, because it just takes so much time that I do not have a ton of being a mother of three. <laughs> so... Oh, I know. That's so cool. Yeah, I hope you enjoy that, Ashalina. That's, that's really cool that you junk journal as well. So I think you'd really enjoy it. So our final baby 
is this adorable, nice, chunky tortoise. He's so cute. Oh, see, so yeah, I love like the white bits, how they're like nice and light. He's so cute. I love it. I'm going to put these on my, my fae altar with my cute little mushrooms and my snail <laughs> until somebody, until somebody swoops them up, but they're just so cute. I know Misty, they're, they're adorable. Yeah. So yeah, I could not, I could not resist these cute little babies, but I think that is it. Yup, we got through three boxes in one live video and 135 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely did not plan on that. So thank you all for sticking with me. I can't believe everybody's, or there's so many people still here till the end. So this was really fun though. I really enjoyed this. It's pretty amazing. I'm excited for the Zoom meetings that will be involved with the, um, with the scholars box and then the honey box because the honey box includes everything that's in the scholars box. So it'll be really fun to craft with everybody. And then maybe eventually I'll do, I'll make, make a, um, a gathering, like a zoom meeting that is that like everybody that is subscribed to any of the boxes can, will also get in on. So it's going to be really, really cool. Yes. Thank you, Nola. Thank you, Tofu. Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah, it'll be really, really fun. I'm really excited. There's so many amazing things coming down the barrel. It's just been an amazing journey. And yeah, I'm, yeah, Michelle, it was, yeah, it's, it's a big one. So I'm, I, here, let me put them up here and then I'll take a last, we'll kind of take, take a last look at everything. And maybe you can see my mess that's all around. But holy, I'm like so scared to accidentally knock something onto the floor. But yeah, this is really, really cool. I really enjoy this. Ah, wow. <laughs> so, oh, what did you say? Sometimes one of those like the top. Okay, so these, I think these are Caribbean calcite. I'm pretty sure they're like nice and blue and then they have some of the bits. So I'm pretty sure these are the Caribbean calcite that I had been talking about. I think he might have sent those to me um, since I did like a bit of a larger order this time. Yeah, they're really, really pretty. Very, very like nice and soft energies. They almost look like Lar Laramar, Laramar. So they look similar to that, but I'm pretty sure they are Caribbean calcite. So, yes, I seriously think it made more make. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hope you can you can get in on the fun, KP. It's gonna be really, really cool. And yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna make some some different options too that are a little bit more affordable. And um, and yeah, we'll we'll get there. I'm sure I will have like sales and kind of different things too, especially for. All of you that fall, you know, have, especially in my Discord, if you, if you're not in my Discord group, um, I highly recommend you join us over there if you enjoyed chatting with everybody over here because it is so amazing and I will probably be doing some like special type discounts and stuff for, for all the honeys over there since it's, they're very, very interactive and everybody there is just, it's pretty much a group for the most loyal honeys, so so that is what that has become and just like look look at the magic of all of this you can't even see all of it I don't think but like wow <laughs> that is awesome dandelion kombucha I will have um, a link I'll put a link in the description so I haven't been doing that as much because I really don't want it to, like I've been I want if you would join, I wanted, I wanted all the people who joined to be like really wanting to be there, you know, like I didn't want it to just become this giant, giant thing where nobody really knows each other. Like I want to keep it very personal, but I will still be putting the links down. I know you're here like all the time. So for sure you are welcome to join as well as everybody else here. 
Um, but I probably will be like making it so if, you, if you're also in the group, you can invite other people too that you think would actually want to be there. So, so yes, I will put a link. That was like a long answer, but I will put a link down in the below for the Discord group. And yeah, I'm like out of breath, Michelle. <laughs> I'm so excited. It is intense here right now. It is amazing. And I'm going to be getting my my um, sage and palo santo out and smudging everything and smoke cleansing everything here in a second and just starting to bless these babies. I'm definitely going to be um, putting them out on the next full moon. My, my uh, what are they called? My windowsills are going to be packed, but... Let me know what, when you have these for sales. Yeah, I will definitely let you know, Hannah, and it will take a minute for me to get everything um, listed, of course, just because there's so much going on and there are so many of them, but yeah, I'm gonna be putting them on my um, on my site, likely, and we will go from there. So you will definitely know, but yes, I know. I'm so glad you found me too, Ashlina. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you everybody so much. I really, really, really really enjoy this hopefully we can do them a little bit more often maybe in like slightly smaller doses or so I can actually get some tea and so my throat doesn't hurt after talking so much <laughs> but yeah I'm excited so yes I will leave the link in the description for the discord group and then um, I will also be doing, um, I'll leave my link for my site on there as well. So you can go check it out. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just go check it out and let me know what you think because I'm excited about it. And, and yeah, so thank you all for joining me. Is there anything else? Let me see. Any other announcements? I don't think so. I definitely need to get back to crafting because this is like the longest break I've taken. Yeah. Thank you, KP. Yes, thank you, Tofu. Oh, thank you, everybody. You guys are all amazing. I love you all so much. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I will talk to y'all later. Blessed be, everybody. Bye. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to turn this off. Yes, thank you. I will be getting some tea. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Margie, what did you say? I will with the guy who makes the crystal box. Oh, yes. Okay, bye.